Adulas in Misawa, Eritrea. Adulas is an archaeological site in the northern Red Sea of Eritrea, situated about 30 miles south of Misawa in the Gulf of Zula. It was the port considered part of the Kingdom of Aksum, located on the coast of the Red Sea. However recent excavation uncovers artifacts that predates the Aksumite civilization. This civilization is now known as Adulatarian. Adulas Bay is named after the site. It is thought that the modern town of Zula may be the Adulas of the Aksumite epoch, as Zula may reflect the local name for the ancient Greek Adulas. Adulas was one of the first Aksumite sites to undergo excavation, when a French mission to Eritrea under Vinod and Petit performed an initial survey in 1840, and prepared a map which marked the location of three structures they believed were temples. In 1868, workers attached to Napier's campaign against Tudros II visited Adulas and exposed several buildings, including the foundations of a Byzantine-like church. The first scientific excavations at Adulas were undertaken by a German expedition in 1906, under the supervision of R. Sundström. Sundström worked in the northern sector of the site, exposing a large structure, which he dubbed the Palace of Adulas, as well as recovering Aksumite coinage. The expedition's results were published in four volumes in 1913. The Italian Roberto Peribeni excavated in Adulas the following year, discovering many structures similar to what Sundström had found earlier, as well as a number of ordinary dwellings. He found a lot of pottery, even wine amphorae imported from the area of modern Aqaba were found here during the decades of existence of the colony of Italian Eritrea. These types now called Isla Aksum Amphoras have since been found at other sites in Eritrea including on Black Asarka Island. Over 50 years passed until the next series of excavations, when in 1961 and 1962 the Ethiopian Institute of Archaeology sponsored an expedition led by Francis Anfray. This excavation not only recovered materials showing a strong affinities with the late Aksumite Kingdom, but a destruction layer. This in turn prompted Kobishinov to later argue that Adulas had been destroyed by an Arab raid in the mid-7th century, a view that has since been partially rejected. A pair of fragments of glass vessels were found in the lowest layers at Adulas, which are similar to specimens from the 18th dynasty of Egypt. One very specialized imported vessel discovered at the site was Amina's flask. It was stamped with a design showing the Egyptian ST. Minas between two kneeling camels. Such vessels are supposed to have held water from a spring near the saint's tomb in Egypt, and this particular one may have been brought to Adulas by a pilgrim. Since Eritrean independence, the National Museum of Eritrea has petitioned the government of Ethiopia to return artifacts of these excavations. Like us and join us at Extreme Collections for more fun and knowledge.